So I'm here with Ethior again. Uh, we're looking at the Vorchar battle cruiser. I'm going to take a proper good look at it this time, so I'm going to go around it a few times, like always. Looking at the detail on it, with the use of wedges, it looks real nice. I especially like the lighting on the engines. The silhouette's perfect, if you ask me. I mean, you can't really get that much closer without it being significantly larger and just being more work. So, interesting fact: it's almost one-to-one -one scale. Really? I use memory. Yeah, I use memory alpha to look at its uh, stats and the conflicts, and I just averaged it out to around 477 meters long, which is well within its uh, canonical scale range of reasonability. So this is reasonably one-to-one. -one. So where was the uh, door? I forget. It was underneath. It was on the neck. On the neck. It's hard oh yeah, to miss that's right. It's a gray square. I see it. I'm coming in. Oh gosh, I overshot it. No. Yeah. You... Oh yeah, you've made a lot of diff. Yeah, look. Oh wow, yeah. Gravity block behind you. In the wall. Got it. Yay. Airlocks. Yeah, I was born in a barn. <laughs> I still need to take these lights out, but it's more or less ready. Right, we're coming upstairs. Second floor. Going upstairs again. Third floor. Going upstairs again. Um, fourth floor. I need to take that out. Oh no. I and can't. I need to take that out too. Oh no. Let me go. Um, Stress test. There you go. Yay. Right. What's this? Ah, oh, you've made a proper Klingon bridge. Wow. Yeah. Well, well done, mate. Yeah, well, I, I, f I wigged out when I uh, realized what I did. Look at it. I was just putting things down, taking and looking through the camera on the bridge, and I was like, what the hell did I just do? I was like, oh crap, this is awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's actually worked really well. I can just see Christopher Lloyd strutting around, doing his Klingon thing. Oh, that's, am that's immense. Although the captain, oh, I suppose this is the captain's chair, so. Yep. Probably would have made the captain's chair a bit more ornate around the camera, but it's the only yeah, thing I, I would have, have changed. Yeah, I could have added it up another like a, a like a. But it looks fine. There. It, yeah, it look it looks fine. It looks fine. There's no need to change it. I'm just you know. Whoa. Another airlock. Oh, it's all green and it's all red. <laughs> green Brilliant. outer hull, rusted interior. Yeah, yeah. So is there anywhere else I need to see? Uh, well, most of these decks are empty, so the player can put in what they want. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the core, the ship core is in a boxed-off area near the middle of the ship. Right. Uh, so if what you about, the what about there, like, your power generators and everything? Oh, that's main engineering? You're going down the, that's the front of the ship where the main guns are. See, I can't see it. Ah! That's the... Weapons ah, room. the weapons room, see? This is what we need to see. Whoa, so you've got them all on display in a great big hangar area. That looks good, though. It looks great. So all I the guns go out putting... through ports where they would be firing. Yeah, I didn't bother putting any red lighting or decks in here because it wasn't necessary. No, it's not. I don't think they would. I think it would just be like a great big hangar with with guns bolted in. <laughs> I think you've hit it on the nail, to be honest with you. It, uh, it also makes it easier to replace it, uh, some damaged blocks. Not that... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take... Well, you'd never know. One day we might get crews. Who knows? So where well, do I go to the back? Yeah, in the back, the core is this big uh, rectangular thing stick that's like smack dab in the middle of it. Alright, I'm going to keep going. It's going to take and, me a uh, while. Yeah, and in the core is only like two decks tall, so 
you can either uh, oh, cool. the, I'll, I'll have a look at that. I built the core room in such that regardless of if he pops you, spits you out on top of it or underneath it, you'll have access to doors to get out. Nice. Yeah, yeah. And it's also mostly for protecting the core. The rear is engineering. There's two doors to get into engineering. Well, plex doors anyway. So there's the core. Oh, right, so there's more stairs here. Yeah. They just go Hop up. Out. Yeah, yep. they just go up and down. Um, derp a derp a derp. Yep. Uh, yeah. Am I going to the front or the back? I don't know which way. Oh, that way. There we go. I was going the wrong way. I hopped out of the core. What, so I'm going to go down to engineering or up? There are two ways in. There... I'm taking the bottom way in. Ah, there's, there's, there's something here. Ah, here we go. Oh, hey! Engineering, I found it. I found the warp core. Oh, wow, it's massive. It's not small. Well done, mate. Yeah, and... Uh, Where's the stairs? How do I get down there? Oh, there look behind you, and... Oh, this is massive. Zoom. Hello. Yo. This is it's even got the glass paneling like you can see in next generation so you can see the upper floors of the core. I don't remember ever seeing a Klingon warp core. Neither have I, so I extrapolated. If yeah, that yeah. the lower engineering deck down here. I always imagined it would look a bit more steampunk, do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but you went up and sit it down, but all right. All right, I'm down again. Whoa. I went down. Right here you are. Very bottom floor. I see. You. Oh boy. See. That's the ma This is the master systems display table. <laughs> oh, and there's another brilliant. one just like it near the uh, up uh, in one of the upper decks. <laughs> this is this is great. This is great. And if we go this way... Yeah. Like the, there's the other Master Systems display table over there. That's the same one, isn't it? Oh, oh, no, there. I if see. go this yeah. way, we get to Impulse Engine Control. <laughs> oh, yeah, nice. Nice. Well, With, uh, and these are supposed to be the uh, anti um, energy conduits leading to the nacelles. Cool. Well, that's really well thought out, man. Yeah. It keeps on going up and up. All the way to uh, the top. It goes like to... To be perfectly honest, though, these decks stop at a certain at a certain uh, distance from the middle and at a certain height from the middle. Mm. I didn't want to use all the space up for interior decking. I wanted to leave a lot of room for improvement, such as additional power or additional uh, weapons or shields, what have you. So this is plenty of room to just build uh, crew quarters and whatnot. Yeah. So what are the guns on it like? Good? Uh, around 220.5 damage each, and so that's within the constraints of where I put them. Jump back in the core. And there are a crap ton of them. And by crap ton, I mean you really don't want to take and know how many uh, weapons I put in there, but... Well, let's, each, give, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Each individual let's... bank has like 76 anti uh, AMC blocks in it, and that's per and that's it per stick, as you've noticed in the very front. Are they all working? Oh, they work. I hooked them up to a weapons computer for this test. Uh, the public version will not have antimatter cannons on it, but it will have weapons computers, so the user will be or player will be able to just use what they want. Nice. And connect it appropriately. I like that. That's a good idea. For releasing ships. To allow people to sort of do what they want with it. 
Yeah, and I, I it's uh, for this test that well, it's got a weapons computer for the antimatter guns. It's got missile computers, a salvage computer, and a power drain computer. Uh, but no associated equipment to go with them, because again, user customization. All right. I'll spawn the gel in then. Yep. Okay, due to a few problems we had with the orbital bodies rotating and we couldn't get the things to stop moving, we actually had to call off the uh, ballistics test on the Vorchak battle cruiser, but I will be revisiting it soon. I'm going to turn off the orbital um, uh, feature of the universe so that we can do tests with bigger ships. So thanks for watching and I will see you soon.